coaches and student athletes got a first look at a new system to keep them safe when lightning threatens. Months after a student was struck and killed before football practice, the Lee County School District is adding more protection to its fields. Amanda Hall joins us live from Fort Myers High with a look at the technology. Well, if you're at any of Lee County's 13 high schools and there's lightning in the area, you will know it. The athletic director here at Fort Myers High School tells me on any given day, there can be up to 500 students doing outdoor activities after school. So that is a lot of people to keep safe. We tested out the weather bug system earlier this afternoon, and let's put it this way, you can't miss it. That's the sound signaling lightning is within a 10-mile radius of school property. Student-athletes practiced hard for the real thing. In dealing with uh, the safety of the kids, I think it's a great addition. I think it's something that we've all uh, hoped for. Sammy Sirianni has coached football at Fort Myers High for 27 years. He tells Wake News he led his team indoors the day a young private school athlete, Jesse Watlington, was struck by a deadly bolt of lightning last year. I can remember that day, you know, just like it happened yesterday. On average, 54 people are killed by lightning every year in the U.S., according to the system's manufacturers. But many have high hopes the high-tech system will take some of the guesswork out of southwest Florida weather. We think of uh, teaching as just that, teaching, but there's a real guardianship and protector role that administrators and teachers have, and Lee County's really lived up. And there's also a weather bug app for your smartphone. It has live radar and a GPS component. You can see right now at Fort Myers High School, there's lightning 1,560 miles away. The whole goal is to alert Lee County administrators, teachers, coaches, no matter where they are and what they're doing. Getting the weather bug system in all 13 of the county's high schools cost $176,000. But I'm told it will also be used as an educational tool. The principal here at Fort Myers High School tells me they'll be modeling math and science lessons around the interactive component of the system in the future. Reporting live in Fort Myers, Amanda Hall, Wink News. Now. She's right. You cannot miss it. No, that's right. And it's very, very important. Yeah. yeah. History in the making out in the Gulf of Mexico today.